All right, guys, let's take a look at some motor calculations here. The first one we're going to start with is a, a single phase motor. Uh, so we have five horsepower uh, running on 230 volts, obviously 60 hertz. This one is going to be a type G type of rotor. So that's from the, the chart, the KVA chart. Our percent efficiency is 86, power factor is 91, service factor is 1.15, and the rotor RPM is 1750. So the first thing I've asked you guys for is finding the FLA of the motor. So we've got the this equation here that we can reconfigure the horsepower equation. Essentially this is just uh, voltage times current which is VA times the power factor which gives us uh, the wattage times efficiency and we're going to divide that by 746 to get the horsepower. Now in order to reconfigure this for the current uh, the reconfigured equation is horsepower times 746, so the amount of wattage there, um, over volts times power factor times efficiency. No root three needed here because it's a single phase motor. So we have five horsepower. Each horsepower is the equivalent of 746 watts, divided by our voltage 230 times 0.91 times 0.86. So that gives us 3,730 over 179.998. So our full load current for this motor, this five horsepower motor is 20.72 amps when it's running at 230. So that's the full load current when it has the max load onto it. Uh, the locked rotor current is the starting current or whether if you've put too much load onto the motor and it has, and it's basically stalled and it's not turning anymore, which is essentially the same as when it's starting. Uh, so lock rotor current is the horsepower times the KVA per horsepower times a thousand over the voltage. Now that KVA per horsepower, let me just go back. That is right here. That's from this chart here, the lock rotor KVA chart. And I believe that was a, a type G, right? So we're looking at uh, this value right here, 5.66 to 6.29. Now, if I haven't given you the value, then use that 6.29 in the higher end. Uh, but if I have, then just use the value that I've given. So let's go back to uh, the motor car chart here. And it looks like I've given you the value of six. So we'll use that rather than the, the higher range from the KVA chart. So five horsepower times six times a thousand over 230. Our locked rotor current is 130.43 amps. So under normal operation, this motor pulls 20.7 amps. When it stalls or at startup, it's going to pull 130.43 amps. Okay, number three, what's the synchronous RPM of this motor? Well, it's 1750 RPM. If we go back to the chart for number of poles and then synchronous speed, well, the closest that we can see, it's obviously uh, very close to 1800. So it's not going to be like a massive slip where it's 1200. Um, and there's no way that it's going to be a completely different uh, speed than the stator. So it looks like we're running on a four pole motor. Okay, so a four pole motor runs at 1800 RPM. So that's our stator magnetic field or what's called the synchronous magnetic field speed. Okay, next thing, working off of the same motor nameplate, how many poles is this motor? Well, we've just found out that it's a four pole motor, but if we wanted to take the time to do the calculation, RPM is 120 times frequency over the number of poles. So 120 times 60 over four poles, All right? So we can re reconfigure that to give us number of poles is equal to 120 times 60 over 1800. And obviously that works out to four poles. Now the percent slip, the, the speed of the rotor is 1750 the speed of the stator magnetic field is 1800. So our slip is 1800 minus the 1750 over the 1800. Now we'll have to make that a percentage. So we multiply that by 100 and the percent is 2.77%. Finally, last thing is the, oh, two more things here, the rated torque. So torque is 52.52 times the horsepower times the RPM of the rotor. So we got 5252 52 times a five horsepower motor and the rotor speed is 1750. 
So with this small five horsepower motor, I can't speak today. This small five horsepower motor looks like it's giving us 15 foot pounds of torque. Okay, what's the actual horsepower output of the motor if it's only drawing 16 amps? Well, we saw, <clears throat> excuse me, we saw back here that normal operating current was 20.7 amps, right? Now that's at full low current. So if it's only drawing 16 amps, then obviously it's not at full load, right? The voltage is going to stay the same at 230. So our horsepower is our wattage times power factor times efficiency. So volts times current to give our, our VA. So VA times power factor times efficiency, 230 times 16 amps times 0.86 times 0.91 over 746. So rather than giving the full five horsepower motor output, it's only outputting 3.86 horsepower. Okay, let's try one more example here, guys. Okay, the next one, motor calculation number two is a three-phase motor. It looks like it is a massive motor compared to the first one, 120 horse. This one's running off a 603 phase at 60 hertz. Uh, we're going to use six from the chart, again, a type G, right? That's your standard motor that you're going to have from the code book. Pull six times its full low current when it's starting up. And percent efficiency and power factor are both at 0.85, surface factor at 1.15. .1, RPM is 873, so a completely different motor. Must have a number of different uh, poles there. And the slip is at 3%. So first thing is we're going to find the, the FLA for the three-phase motor. Well, we've got horsepower times 746 over root 3 of our voltage. This is a three-phase motor, so the difference between this one and the previous calculation is that we need to now root three the voltage, but again, we have to multiply by power factor and efficiency. So the full low current for this guy is 119.23 amps. Okay, if we're looking here, this is 120 horse. Usually at 600 volts, basically whatever the horsepower is at 600 volts, that's gonna be what you're pulling for your full low current, right? You can see that 119.23 is very close to the 120 horse. Okay, the locked rotor current, normally it pulls 119.23 amps for the full load, but when it's starting, it pulls a disgusting 692.84 amps. Okay, so again, horsepower times KVA per horsepower. That is again from the chart. No need to look at the chart though. It's given here of a value of six times the full load current. Okay, so horsepower times six times a thousand over root three times the voltage. It ends up giving us 692.84. So again, there's our running current at a close to 120 amps. And then our starting current is six times that, it's 693 amps. Okay, next thing, what's the synchronous RPM of this motor? Okay, we can do the calculation doing rotor RPM over one minus 0 0.03 of your slip. That gives us 900 RPM. But we can also just look here that the, the rotor RPM is 873. So the closest value on that chart for our synchronous speeds, if we go back to that, is at 900. Okay, how many poles is this motor? Well, we just saw from that chart, it's an eight pole motor. But you can do the calculation number of poles is 120 times the frequency of 60 Hertz over the RPM. And this is our synchronous RPM. Okay, finally, what's the rated torque output of this motor? Okay, well, torque is equal to horsepower times 5252 over the rotor RPM. So 120 times 5252 over 873. This guy is punching out 721 foot-pounds of torque. All right, guys, looks like we have one, enough time for one more here before my time runs out. Motor calculation number three, three-phase motor. This guy, we haven't given you the horsepower. It runs on 283 phase. Full low current is 214 amps. All of these guys are at 60 hertz. This, again, is a type G motor pulling six times the full low current. 
Percent efficiency is 0.85. Power factor is 0.85. Service factor is 1.15. We haven't looked at the service factor yet. Number of poles is 4. And the slip is 5%. So the rotor speed is 5% slower than the synchronous stator, stator speed. So first thing we need to find is the horsepower. This is three phase. So we've got root three times the voltage times the current. That gives us our VA, but we're looking for the wattage. So we're gonna take the VA times the power factor times the efficiency over 746 watts per horsepower. So this one ends up being a 75 horsepower motor. Okay, when we're looking at the lock rotor current, now we've got 75 horse times the six. Okay, so it's a type G, so we're gonna use six times our full load current, times a thousand over root three of the voltage. So don't go on cruise control. This is a three phase motor and we need to do root three times two eight. So lock rotor current ends up being 1250 amps. Okay, so uh, normally it is pulling 215 amps and locked rotor current is 1250. Okay, next one guys. Uh, what's the rotor RPM of this motor? Well, we, it is a four pole motor. So this was given, right? So we know the four pole motor runs at 1800 RPM for the synchronous stator speed. The slip is 5%. So the rotor is only doing 95% of that speed. So 0.95 times 1800. The rotor speed is 1710 RPM. Finally, what's the rated torque output of this guy? Well, horsepower times 52, 52 over RPM gives us the torque. 75 horsepower times that 5252 52 over the RPM of the rotor. Okay, so don't forget that this is our rotor RPM because that's the, amount, that's the actual component that's doing the work. It's not the stator that's doing the work, it's the rotor that's doing the work. And we do that calculation, it ends up punching out 230 foot-pounds of torque. All right, guys, go to the next uh, video. And we're on motor calculation number three. There's two more to cover in the next video.